The oh, Red Bull Soap Box in Lotto, and know. this is crazy! <laughs> Red Bull Soapbox race in Oslo in Norway. It's the first time they've done this in 10 years apparently. So everyone's out, everyone's excited, and I personally can't wait to see some of the cars coming down this hill very, very soon. Yeah, rain's out, but everyone's out in high spirits. It's amazing. The energy here is high, and I just can't wait to see them tip over all the different designs they've got. I've heard that there might be some fish, dinosaurs, I don't know. You never know what you're gonna get at these sort of events, and it's gonna be crazy. But the thing is, this is a very Norwegian thing to do. Apparently. Yeah. I don't quite know why or how it started, but kids, you know, as young as seven, eight years old, building these cars from scratch, you know, in their garages, presumably with their parents and their families, creating these cars. They come here, they enter into the race, and it's a proper Norwegian thing to do. Yeah. I guess we're going to try and find some people today. We'll find out a little bit more. So, bear with us. I'm standing here with uh, Dennis, who is one of the judges at the Red Bull Soapbox race. Yeah, how was it? It was fun. I love being in a toy with the yeah. meat, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun, yeah. to be honest. Did you uh, get a bit of FOMO and wanted to race yourself? Yeah, I loved actually. I was actually asked to make a car, but yeah? uh, I didn't have time, so they, they just get judged instead. <laughs> so next time, I'll uh, probably come with a car as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we will do the same as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You told me, I talked to you earlier, that you actually, as a child, do this. It's a very Norwegian thing to do. Very Norwegian thing. I did a couple of times, like yeah. when I was 10 years old, but I lost. I got last place, so in like uh, the turtle award. <laughs> I have it uh, at home and I'm oh. Yeah, so I have uh, a little bit of experience from this. Oh, thing. it's quite cool. Yeah. So what, what would you say that is the most important when building a soapbox car? To get the, the car right. You yeah. see a lot of cars uh, struggle and make it sturdy enough, I guess. Yeah. You see the winners was uh, really sturdy with metal and all that. Yeah. And don't go for the classic tree thing, yeah. which was a retro thing for those type of cars. Yeah. And uh, for this competition, it's got to be more creative. Yeah. As a judge, I really like some of the cars, the, the tea thing and the coffin and stuff like that. That's, uh, you need to do that as well to make it entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. I like also there was a bull that was quite fun. So as a judge, what do you rate on? What was oh God, like, like style points or how does it work? First, we had a tour up uh, with all the cars. Yeah. And then it was just just like the how cool and creative the car was built. Yeah. And then uh, another one for us judge uh, for the race for the intro show and how entertaining the race was like. I gave bonus points for crashes if they got up and tried more yeah. and stuff like that. Then yeah. That was some good crashes today. Yeah, it was a lot of good crashes. Yeah, I mean, I was quite surprised by this event that, is, that was so fun as it was and very Norwegian thing to do. Yeah. Obviously in Denmark, we don't really have those. <laughs> you don't have that many hills. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. It's a bit better here. Finish line, yes. and you look like you're in one piece. Oh, I can't no. see any. Uh, oh, okay. I haven't actually seen <laughs> I that. Have some scratches. Uh, okay, but no, no blood. No blood. Uh, nothing. You're looking pretty good overall. Yeah. How long does it take to, to build a, a car like this? Have you been preparing for years? Or? No, no. We spent the one week. Uh, one week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Really? Yeah. Okay. And how many? We were quite efficient. How many people uh, is involved in that? Four people. Four people. One week. Wow. Is this something you've been doing for many years? Or? Now we started the summer for this project, and we have okay. another project uh, seven years ago, the flute tank. Yeah. Where we built a uh, small plane as well. Amazing. So okay. this is second time. What do you think the most important factor is in deciding whether or not you're going to win? Uh, the it's uh, the construction of the uh, car, of course, that yeah. it's uh, solid, and yeah. uh, the steering, because I had problems with steering, that's why uh, problems. To have big weights enough to have uh, speed. Sure. And what's the secret to getting a solid car that's not going to fall apart? I think uh, we use wood to build a frame. Yeah. And the wood is really uh, solid, so uh -huh. wood is a good uh, choice. Are you happy with uh, how it held up today? Yeah, very, very happy. Yeah.
Congratulations, guys. You are officially the winners. But this whole reason we're here today, this is a very Norwegian thing, apparently. Did you go to this when you were kids? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the races every year uh, where I grew up uh, building these cars. Uh, what sort of age would you be when you were doing this sort of thing? Eight, nine, ten years, maybe. And you've been building the cars at that age? Yeah. A bit simpler than this, but yeah. Okay. The car you guys are racing today, how long did that take you to build? Ten days. Uh, we, ten days. I thought you were going to say, like a year or something. <laughs> ten days. We haven't been at home for the last uh, week. Yeah. Okay, so it's a 10 day, but it's an intensive, like, yeah. all day, night. All, like, all night after work, okay. yeah, until sleep. So, so. Can you tell us a bit about the theme of the car? Yeah, that's a super Norwegian thing to have on uh, the bread. Some fish, what do you call it? Uh, fish in uh, to tomato. Yeah. This is a super Norwegian thing. So yeah. we were hoping to score some low from the fans on the concept. <laughs> yeah. I do like the stuff. I bring it to work, but I've been told not to anymore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the smell and if you spill around then... Um, yeah. yeah. So would you be back here next year or is it a one-time? Uh, one uh, ten years since the last race in Norway, so... Oh, so it's not every year? No, let's hope they bring it uh, a bit more often. Oh, so we're coming back. Yeah. Okay. Amazing event. What's going to happen with the car now? We're going to um, take it back to the... Um, we work at the same place, <laughs> or most of us, and we're going to um, put it there for display, I think. We're going to build on it uh, the same chassis uh, for the next race. Yeah. New concept, same <laughs> chassis.